Richard so blue, Gumby. He's lonely for a playmate. Can't we get another lion? That's not so easy. I've never tracked a lion before, have you? Maybe we can find a book about it on the bookshelves. Come on! place to trap a lion, Pokey. I agree. Supposed to hide now. There's a good place. Look, look, Gumby. Somebody painted stripes on that horse. Oh, Pokey, that's a zebra. <laughs> is a funny way to trap lions.
Come turn me over and read me. Come on, I won't fall on you again. Once upon a time, there lived in a bag of marbles two very fine marbles. One day, something happened to these two very fine marbles that changed them and made them different from the rest of the marbles so that they were no longer useful. They became soft, and every sound would make them change size, shape, and even color, so that they were good for nothing. As a result, they could not play with the other marbles anymore. The only thing that could make these two marbles useful again was a certain sound. So they set out to find that special sound so that they might be turned into round, shiny marbles again and play with the other marbles the way they used to. Well, little clay boy, aren't you going to help these poor soft marbles find the right noise to make them useful again?
Thanks, little playboy, for helping us end our story happily.
Thank you.